and welcome. This is Sahara playing uh, Gen Forge 2, the infestation. And I went back to Dry Peak and um, sold my stuff. Now look at how this map has opened up. Before it was just this little area. Wow. It's a lot bigger map than what you anticipate. And there, it looks like there's a town over here. Town over here. Some towns here, here, here. Or at least fortifications. So we are going to what is referred to as Free Gate. So let us go. Let us see what we find here. Oh, we have... Oh, iron bars. We need those. I didn't have any iron bars to turn in. Well, you know we're going to end up with a... Yep, here we are. Free Gate. And I got it. Uh, the Hidden Land. So I got an achievement. One thing about being one of the first people to play this game, I'm, um, it's like 50 per 55% of people did this, 50% of people did that. So you know where people are progressing with the game. You look around you, barely able to believe your eyes. What you are seeing should not exist. You see green grass, trees in the distance. You smell flowers and hear birds. Supposedly, these mountains were barren and no shaper had succeeded in creating healthy life up here. This was a lie. It's also illegal. Someone in the high valley, high valleys has been doing shaping without the permission of the council. Major shaping, with many new life forms being released into the wild. This is one of the greatest crimes a shaper can commit, even if the results seem beneficial. Unleashing, I'm sorry, even if the results seem beneficial, releasing new life forms can cause unforeseen and horrible harm. One mistake. One rapturous creature or new disease and devastation can result. You feel sick. Something huge is happening, and the people responsible are powerful. Yet, as a shaper and a re representative of the council, it is your job to investigate and act, whatever the cost. Or I can choose to stay with them, right? Help them in the cause. Maybe. There's got to be an easy way to do this. Uh, this thing is twinkling at, away at me, too. Okay, so that one we opened. Can we get in this door? No, it is locked. The door is locked. You don't have a key, and the lock is too complicated to be picked. Uh, kind of what I figured. Oh, it looks like a bedroll over here. It is. Um, Tools and beakers. But they have no value to them with the tools. What little value they have. I have, look at that, I have over a thousand gold coins now. Woohoo! From all the. That's something there. Okay, bolts of cloth. As bad as the situation seemed, it suddenly gets far, far worse. There has been a fight here not long ago. The blood on the pathway is still damp. There is a broken necklace in the grass. Oh, a leather thong with several fangs hanging from it. It was snapped off someone's neck and crushed underfoot. You easily recognize it. You've seen it enough times. It was Shantae's. Shantae snuck out of Dry Peak and came here ahead of you. Then she was attacked. Your mission has become even more complicated. Now you will also have to rescue her. Worse and worse. No! Is that what's on the ground up here? Is her necklace? No, it isn't. It's just a cloak. But there's something green here. I thought maybe that was her necklace. The obelisk is newly carved and very imposing. It says free gate. Beyond here, all are free from shaper tyranny forever. Okay. Let us see. If she couldn't handle it, how are we going to handle this, right? You get a strange feeling when you step through this gate. For the first time in your life, you are outside of shaper lands. The incredible power of your people doesn't extend here. These peaks are wild, rogue. Beyond the gate, some servos to the west are waiting to greet you. They have weapons drawn, and they are neither subservient nor stupid. 
Their strange, empty eyes shine with hatred. Their leader raises its blade, point it, points it at you, and says, We have seen. We have been sent to meet you. Any shaper who steps through the free gate is bound to judgment, shaper. Is bound to judgment. Shaper, you are loyal to your kind and a risk to us. We are sorry, but you must die. You must die! Okay. Well, uh, these are loyal servals, and these are, I'm sorry, I can't, I have to get my magnifying glass, armed servals. Well, no doubt. Well, I have protection, so let me try that. Okay, and then... Oh, well, you guys were easy. Because they're servals, I had to say. So you're coming to our rescue, are you? That was a guy. Can you get up to it? I don't think you can. Ah! Oh, I leveled up. Yoo hoo! The game is the battle is joined by yet more armed servos wearing curved, carved blades and dark robes. They run towards you. You start to worry. This may. This many foes may make for a difficult fight. However, one of the dark robed servos. When he gets when he gets closer, says, "Shaper, we come to help you attack." Then he turns to face your assailants. Well, I already took care of them. We got gold. Um. Wait a minute. It says we're in combat, but I'm I don't see any more. Where are they at? Oh, they're behind us here. Okay. Come on, over here. Uh. Can you... I know you can't. Uh, you guys won't even get to him in time. Ugh. Now that the battle is done, all by me, the leader of the small band of servals walks up to you. He is small, but very strong, and he welds his steel blade with confidence. He looks up at you confidently. They, the thing with Jeff, because he writes all his own um, dialogues and his own stuff here, he, he repeats words all the time when he shouldn't. He shouldn't use confidence back to back like this, but I'm an editor, so I get really picky about that. He looks up at you confidently and, fortunately, without hatred. He says, Welcome to the free gate, Shaper. I am Bodius Blade. Hmm, Bodius Blade. I have come here to protect you from ambush and to advise you. Really? I took care of him myself. It is perilous here. If you continue to explore here in the improved regions, you should head north to... <laughs> Medap, Medap, instead of South, our leader, Leonard Pinner, will give you a warmer greeting. Yeah, that name is so familiar. I did, yeah, I, I know now that I have played this. In fact, I can see visions of the game in my head because it looked a lot different than this. When Jeff remastered this, he remastered it to look like Avernum and uh, um, Abaddon games. Because the Gen Forge games didn't look anything like this at all. I appreciate the help, but I do not take orders from servals. Hmm. Thank you for your help. I'm I'm going to be. I'm. Mm, yeah. Thank you for your help. Bodus Blade nods. We can help more. All you need to do is listen to us. It is unusual for a shaper to listen to servals. Yes, but this is an unusual land. And Madab, we can help. Do you need to know anything before I return to safety? 
So how come you didn't help Shantae? Hmm? If you if you rushed out here to help me, why didn't you help Shantae? So where is ma ma Madab? Madab? Medab? Medab? It's M E D like Med Medab. Hmm. To reach Medab, follow the road north. The improved lands can be perilous, but if you follow the road, you will be safe. Step off the path and you will be in danger. Improved lands? Otis Blade nods, and you can see a smile inside the shadows of his hood. The trees, the flowers. Ah, uh, an improvement, yes? You will see much more if you go north. Which you should do. Soon. So who were those servals that attacked me? They were from Rising, far to the southwest. That is a hostile place run by a shaper named Ha uh, Brazil. It is very dangerous and you should be very wary if you decide to go west. Brazil, so he didn't die, he started a new faction. Servals up here are acting very strange. Otis chuckles, you don't know the half of it. However, I suggest you be patient and speak to us a bit before you declare us rogue and scorch our lands. For all his experience in battle, Bro Botus seems a little naive. You said that someone named Bazel is in Rising. I'm looking for Bazel. That may not be wise, but if you insist on meeting Bazel, I will not prevent you. Perhaps first you should head north to Medab. Leonard Pinner can tell you much, much which will help you prepare for your journey. Well, what can you tell me about these woods? There are many rogues. Not a surprise, of course. If you stay on the road, you will be safe. Stepping off the road can be very dangerous. I'm trying to find an agent named Shantae. I fear she is in great danger. Otis looks uncomfortable. I do not know what has happened to your agent. Perhaps Leonard Pinner can help you. She is in Medeb. Leonard? L Leonard. So it's a woman's name. You think that he is lying. He knows something. I want to know about Shantae now. I am sorry, Shaper. I have my orders. I promise I don't have any good answers. But Leonard, Leonard Pinner may know what you want to know. First, you must come to Medeb. Medeb? Medeb, Medeb. I'm not sure how you even pronounce that. Voda's Blade is impatient to head south, north, but he is willing to briefly delay his escape. Yes, Shaper? We should hurry before more Arising's warriors find us. So what can you tell me about these woods? I am tired and could use assistance. Uh, I am tired and could use assistance. Voda's thinks, I believe when these woods were being created, a small shaping outpost was set up nearby, just northeast of the gate, I think. Perhaps you should look there. That may not be enough. If you want me to reach Medib safely, some supplies would help. Yes, Shaper, I understand. He removes the pot from your pouch at his side and hands it to you. This will help your wounds heal should you be attacked. Okay, so I guess that's all I'm going to get from you. Hmm. And I did... I thought I leveled up. I did. Okay. So I have 10 points. Um, what did I say I was going to put it in before? <laughs> I think I said I was going to put it in. Uh, my shaping skills need to be improved. Battle shaping and man see battle shaping is enables you to create more powerful battle creations. Battle creations are more durable and resistance to um, stunning. Each point increases the level of all of your battle creations by one. This includes creations you cur you already have. Magic uh, en enables you to create more powerful magic creations. So I don't have any battle shaping. Or magic shaping. I, I'm going to throw it all into that. Mm-hmm. Though I could use more endurance. Increases the amount of health you gain per point. All right. I'm, I need endurance. So I'm going to do battle shaping first. And then do endurance. 
Okay. That leaves me one point. Which probably could go into stealth, or do I want to save it? I don't have stealth. I mean, I do, but it's one. All right, let's put it in stealth. I'm, I'm really not that hep on doing stealth, but we can do that. My shaping skills are still weak, but... So... So if I wanted to make him better, okay, so now I have, my essence is 44, so I have 16 essence free. Hmm. Is it because I need to go into town to increase my essence? I think I do. Oops. Okay, we were in combat. All right, so we got a shield and... Oh. Oh, they were hiding in there. Okay, I see. Well, I'm gonna go back to town and get my essence back. Um, so I can... So it should have increased my essence? But it didn't. So I have 44 essence. Okay. I thought it would, but it didn't. That's okay. So I got, to, I have to tell um, Sharon what I found on the other side of this tunnel. All right. So, so they have a dagger and javelin. Okay, so my, this does 16 to 40, and this does 16 to 4, I'm um, sorry, 12 to 36. I'd rather use the javelin for now. You know we can't combine these, but you can't. Okay. All right, what else did you have here? You had a box. Crystals and a comb. I think I have a comb. Do I have a mirror? I don't remember. Yes. Um, healing spores, good. And shielding spores. Oh, we don't have shielding spores. I meant to do. Okay, so north to Medab. Medab? Medab? So if we go off the path, we are in danger. Wasn't well, that what we want? Dish. That only heals you for four to six. It's nothing. At this time in point, um, oops, someone left money here, really? Six, a uh, value of eight just isn't worth it to even look at them anymore. They take up too much room. Um, Too bad they don't stack. Some of the stuff should be stacking, but it's not. I'm gonna get rid of these. I only need one lantern. Um, six, four, three. Is it going to say anything? It doesn't say anything. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of crates everywhere. Nothing in them. What does that sign say? 
The sign says revival chamber. There is an arrow pointing south. Oh, okay. So this is what he was referring to. It is. Good. All right, so we know where that's at now. Is this considered being off the beaten trail? Uh, there's another sign. Well, it all comes together, actually. We got a bush. We have some venom ones. Cool. The sign says Med Medab North. So this must be goes off to it. Okay. I don't want to go there. I want to go wander. You got to fill in this area first. No more thorns? You did. Where is this one going? Okay, I thought I saw something moving around up here. I did. Okay, what are they? A charged bish. Oh, these are those nasty things. Okay. Oh, I did more damage. I did more damage than I thought I would. Um. Let's see if we can get rid of you. Almost. Uh oh, you want to kill him? Uh oh. Yeah. Let's get rid of this one. There we go. I need to heal you. Nope, he called more people over, didn't he? No, you're not gonna... Did you do some with me? You terrified me. No! Didn't do much damage. Okay. Can I? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so he needs healed. <laughs> nope, good. You're dead. Um. <laughs> oh, you just killed him. I knew you were going to. Can get rid of you? Missed! Oh, damn it. Um... Dust. Okay, I have to heal you. Just barely. Okay. If I keep healing him, oh, we got another one came up. What the hell are you? 
Okay. Oh, you can do them for both. Okay. I wish there was a way to tell. Only oh, seven damage. Hmm. Um. Okay. Oh, and I can do it again. All right, let's heal him. He took off. But I don't see any more around. Oh, it's over there. Okay. I don't think I can get to you. Oh. There we go. Okay. You know where we're going. We're going down here so I can get my... Get my juice back, get some health back so then I can... We do my creation, right? Okay. I don't like that he can't. So I, I, hmm. I guess I haven't learned. Okay, so he's going to be doing repost. Charge. Instantly moves you to your foe and delivers a strong melee attack. Let's do that. Okay. So these are the things that ugh, they do mind control on you. The bish. The bish. And I happen to run across four of them. Okay, so there should be nests up here. There is. All right. That's the one thing about them. If you defeat them, you usually end up with um, goodies out of their nests. They usually nest by. Hmm. That's that one. Just a twig. Okay, so this is the way we came in. That looks like tools. Yep, it is. Oh, we got a pot here. Nothing, just trash. Just trash. Okay, let's save. Another nest. Got another dish, dish wandering around. Ooh, that one had a topaz. Where's this going? Okay, this just ties in with that. Okay. Four. I almost kill him every time. Okay. 
Oh, I must be out of jab ones. Okay, time to go to my thorns. Got another one. This all ties in together. Yep, it does. Okay. Do I have my venom one? I do. So I have a couple venom. Well, this is the thorn one. I can't combine them together, which just doesn't seem right. Um, this is a spitting thorn. A lot of venom ones. Okay, we got more vicious. Bish. Moving around up here. We got this all done? Yep, I just wanted to make sure. I thought we did. Yep, that takes me off. Okay. So these are the ones we have to go after now. There's a, quite a few of them here. Oop. Let's do this. And you have charge now. Oh, we got another one up here. What are you? Can't see it. Ooh, that took a while. Okay. Quit growling and everybody. Yeah, you terrified him. I figured you did. Cat. Don't terrify me. Uh, do we have another? Oh, we got one down here. Okay, so. You done? Done being scared? I don't blame you. They know how to get into the brain. Okay, we got another one wandering around up here. Gotta clear them all out, you know. I think I was already up this one. No, I wasn't. Ooh, cool. This is the one that, this is the one that has, um, okay, so protection, no, that's not what I wanted. That one has got something, he's a corrupting vesh, got a rogue vesh, rogue vesh, and a terror. I think you can get too far away. Oh, yeah, you're going to terrify everybody, aren't you? Are you going to be too far? Okay, so you're going to go over here and do fire on them. Okay.
Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Never find everybody. Okay. Um, whose turn is it? Is it your turn? Oh, it's his turn. Okay. You need to heal people. Um... Alright, you're done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Better heal myself. I deflected, yes. Oh, yep, I knew he was going to last long. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering, do is the Venom one doing any damage to him? Let me see. It did. All right, I better heal him. Just, oh, you turned him. Okay. Quit. Quit fighting me. All right, I better heal myself. Better heal myself. Oh, he died. Okay. <sighs> oh, we got a story. I keep forgetting about these. There are, okay, there's a body up here. No, nope, that's the nest. Better be something good up here. We got coins, a belt. Fine folk. The hell's that? A limb. That's a different type of limb. Uh, fiery wand. I can't use the wands. Right? Nope. Hmm. And... Oh, this. Let me see. There was something else I picked up. Okay. So, I lost one of my creations. But I got this area cleared out more or less. Let me go back down here. No, oh, I didn't want to go that way, but that's fine. It's because I'm just clicking without realizing where I'm clicking. Over here. I, I suppose you could do this game without um, any creations, but it would be tough when you get used to having, you know, because they do help you. But how do I get better ones? Okay, so I want a post. No, I don't think a post is necessary, but we do need to have... Or do we want um, dexterity upgrade? Gives the creation one more level and two more points of agility. Okay, let's try that. I'm just kind of doing different things to see what works. All right, so we got to finish out this area. We don't know if we're going to run across any more nests here. I thought that was a rope. Oh, we got a campsite. We have a rogue serval. A couple of them. These are the ones that attacked us, I assume. Oh, 
Oh, I got quick action. Let's poison both of you. And... Oh, I didn't give you charge, did I? No, I didn't. Yep, I knew that one was going to die. Okay. So... You got any notes? Something I can read? They don't give you notes and stuff that you can read here. Oh, we got a living tool though, and we got another thorn baton. End up with so many of these. Okay. So we got their little campsite gone. And we have something down here. Beware of rising. This is squib. We doing squib? I am. What did he say? I am beyond there is danger. Squib. You meet another armed servo. He keeps a lone vigil watching this barricade, a short blade hanging from his belt. The appearance of a shaper understandably terrifies him, but he manages to not run. He bows to you nervously. His hands don't move near his sword. In fact, he's trying to move a little, as little as possible. He says, Hello, Shaper. I am Squib. I guard this bar barricade. But there was stuff all over out here. Um, I mean, there was a camp of them down here, the rogues. So where are you here? I'm here to watch the barricades. I run and warn Medab. Medab, if anything from rising comes to attack. It is very dangerous to the south and west, much more so than north. You have to be very careful that way. Did you not notice the servos that came to attack me? I didn't, I swear. I am easy to sneak past. I am alone. I do spend a lot of time in the bushes, though, sleeping and hiding. They might have snuck by. <laughs> okay, so what is Medib? A town of free servos, home of the awakened, well protected. You will be welcome there. So someone wants to attack it? There is war in these mountains. It is shameful. We have a place to be free, and we use it to tear ourselves apart. And Medib Leonard Piner, Pinner can tell you the whole story. So he gave you several permission to arm yourselves. He is generally confused. Permission? We were attacked. No shapers were here. We defended ourselves. All living cre creatures are allowed to defend themselves. Well, that is true. If you were abandoned by your creators and you were attacked, um, have any have any agents passed here recently? Maybe one that is wounded? I haven't seen anyone, but I am easy to pass. I am alone and maybe not a very good guard. <laughs> I don't think you are. Um, so why are you here? I'm here to watch the barricades. I run in, okay, so, um, okay. What lies, yeah, what lies beyond the barricade? He looks to the west and shakes his head. Oh, you shouldn't go there. there that's where Rising is. There are, are lots of vicious servos out there. You would be in great danger. Well, tell me about Rising. It's a city part of the west. It is ruled by the cruel Bazaar. Bazaar. He hates Medib and, stands, and sends rogues to plague us. He wants... Total rebellion against all the shapers. So how dangerous are these servels? Bazel has given them great strength. I'm sure you are stronger. You are a shaper, but I would be careful. Okay. Um, why are you so scared? The rogues, they're in the woods, he points to the north. And the servos from rising, they would kill me. If I see them, I run in more Medib. I must be fast. If they catch me before I am there, I die. Okay, so
you are here to mourn them. So we got two different ways out of here. This says, the sign says, yes, well, west rising. Okay. So this isn't going west per se. Let's see what area it opens up. So this is going to Crawl Bug Canyon. All right. That's not where I wanted to go. No, oh, it took me all the way back here. Come on. I wanted to go this way, see where this took me. So there's no Shantae, no Shanti or Shant, whatever her name is, Shanti, Shantae in our little home. So this takes me, this goes to Experimental Valley. So I wonder if I should tell Sharon what I have found. And then this one will take me to... Because she wanted to know it was beyond the tunnel, right? Let me see how that was worded on the... No, 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 no. The journal. That's the map. I don't want the map. Oh, fetch the search garden tunnel. Yeah, Siren, would you like to know what is on the other side? To find out, you will have to go there yourself. Okay. All right, so this should take me to... It should not show up on my map. Yes, it does. Okay, so let's go back to Sharon and let her know. That we have, but I don't know where her ring is at. I never even got the quest for her ring. Because maybe then she can give us some training if we let her know. Unless she's got another um, quest for us. So, um, I have been beyond the tunnel. Describe what happened. I need the aid you promised. You described the situation to Sharon. Her surprise and dismay are genuine. So that has happened. We both know the danger. In return, there are two things I can give you. She hands you a key. This key will let you into the woods beyond my home and into my storeroom as well. Then she hands you a bracelet. It is made of gold, and it has five holes in it, each the shape of a fang. This is an artifact of my creation, infused with essence. It has the ability to increase in power as the owner's valor grows. It is an odd enchantment, but it may be of use to you. Go behind my home and slay the creations there. The bracelet will absorb their power and grow stronger. But beware, some of my creations are very powerful. Oh, no. Um, so she gave me a key that will me into the woods behind her home and into my storeroom as well. Okay, so I've got some XP. I think this is where she's talking about. Okay, so is this her storeroom? Yep, this is the storeroom. This is an odd looking thing. It's totally on the ground. What's in here? Thorns. Um, this is crystal. We're getting a lot of these. I have to remember to use them. 
the box is locked. But she told us we can... Ooh, living tools. Okay. Well, let me save. Dude, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for this. It says not yours. A shielding knife. Um, so it gives me two hit bonus, 30%. 18 to 50. Oh, it's better than what I have. 15% chance to evade attacks. It also gives me physical armor. Hmm, what the hell is this? A madness gem? This crystal contains a single powerful magical charge. When thrown at an enemy, it will turn into a dangerous and damaging bolt of energy. So I can take this one, but not the shield, but... I am going to go ahead and pick that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to... Okay. And then we can go back here. So she gave us a bracelet, right? You know what she said? Here it is. Sharon's bracelet. This unique, partially organic bracelet was created by Shaper Sharon. She has ideas for how to make it stronger. It's the same thing kind of principle as this thing, I think. Um... So it's a ring. This is a helix ring. Oh, okay. You can absorb energy if it is in your pack at the right time. Instead of wearing it? And this is a bracelet. Do we have a place for bracelets? No, we do not. Unless it goes... Is there anywhere to wear it? Oh, it goes here. Okay, so it, I was thinking it was a necklace, so it's a bracelet. Which replaced the one I had, and what happened to the one I had? Hmm, didn't end up in here, did it? Thorns, thorns, that's that. bracelet on. I was pretty sure I did. Okay, so bracelet and rings are two different things. So where is... Oh, here's the rings. Oh, okay. This is a ring. This is the bracelet. Alright. Uh, duh. I didn't realize there were two different places. So this is a ring. But it has to be used in your pack. I think. Okay, so are we ready to, oh, organ meat, um, it has no value to it, but I feel like there's something we need, I have one already, well, I'm just going to put this back in here. Yeah. All right, let's see what kind of uh, creatures we have. We have a crypto. He testing Grove One. Okay. Oh, did you just make it? You did. Okay. And...
We can do fire breath on you, maybe? Didn't do damage at all! Oh, you keep making more, don't you? Okay. Wow. Hmm. Stunned and okay. Dazed. Yeah, I can see that. we're not gonna do good here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cause you're supposed to be slowed. Okay. Alright, we need to level up to get here, but that's fine. That is fine. We know where to come back to do this. And I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.